Greetings, educators. My name is Daniel. I'm with Tinker, and I'm here to talk to you about one of the easiest programs that you can use to teach students how to code. What is Tinker? It is the easiest way to teach kids how to code, uh, and it is defined in a few ways. It is probably one of the most comprehensive curricula that is out there. Uh, you will get over 1,000 hours of curriculum with Tinker, uh, which is awesome and amazing, much of it free. Uh, it is integrated into STEM, so if you're trying to get students to use computer science, what better way than through English, science, math, social studies, it's integrated into their core curriculum, uh, which you're going to love. Uh, there is so much block and text coding courses uh, available in Tinker, starting with uh, icon-based coding in pre-K, moving all the way to uh, block coding courses and uh, programs in the, in the middle grades, and then we get into uh, the JavaScript and, and Python and other text coding courses as uh, they get into uh, late, middle, and high. So um, lots and lots of amazing content for you uh, with Tinker. Our mission, to, be, to empower kids to become makers. We do this in a number of ways. Uh, we do this through hardware. You can code drones and spheros and micro bits and uh, augmented reality and Minecraft. Uh, and of course, there is just numerous uh, block and text coding projects uh, for your students. Uh, in addition to NASA content, which I'm going to talk to you about in just a second as well. Uh, we've reached over 60 million students all around the world. Uh, we partnered with Code.org way in the beginning, back in what, 2014, when Hour of Code was just a, a little thing. And uh, we've reached students uh, all around the world um, in every uh, 150 countries, I think. Uh, so you'll notice um, we use we like to use the word pathway to mastery. So when students uh, and teachers, or I should say, when people talk about Tinker, uh, they're talking about a you know uh, a pathway to mastery rather than just engaging in computer science. We want students to master the the literacy of computer science. So. You'll do this. You'll see this in, in, in all of our content, starting with our pre-reader uh, content uh, all the way, uh, you know, pre-K and then moving into kindergarten, first grade with uh, icon and block based coding. And then we get into kind of the 101s, which is our project based uh, programs. And um, these are these are a kind of a combination of premium and free. You get, there's some free courses in here. There's some premium courses in here. Uh, I'm going to show you our NASA content as well, which is coming up. And that's also very free, uh, which you're going to love. And then uh, you have these interest based courses. So students can uh, code for Mike Python uh, uh, or I should say they should they can code for drones or micro bit using Python uh, or block coding. Uh, we've got the Barbie course, we've got the Lego course, uh, there's an augmented reality course, and then uh, a lot of Minecraft embedded uh, Tinker uh, coding um, tutorials within Minecraft. So it's a lot of fun and a lot of great content. Uh, we reach school districts all around the world, some of the largest school districts in like New York and Australia, uh, Indiana, and a lot of great uh, school districts there, Chicago Public Schools and, and uh, more. Uh, so right now this is kind of a, 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 our basic code, um, I should say, a scope and sequence. Uh, and it continues to grow every couple months we're, we're adding new content. Um, and uh, constantly building our, our uh, uh, coursework. So w one of my favorite pieces of this is the ability to code in core curriculum. So what can you make with Tinker? Um, let's roll the video. <laughs> Bist, 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 bist,
So I hope you enjoy all of these great projects. This is project-based learning at its best, and it's integrated into core curriculum. So I want to send you to some great links. Some uh, where do you get started with uh, with Tinker? Uh, you to, right now uh, going to tinker.com/nasa is a great place to get started because it's all free. We are right now in our in the midst of Hour of Code and Computer Science Education Week. You can sign up there. You can create your classes. There's professional development. There's webinars, and there's all these great projects for K through 12 uh, that you can get uh, started on right away. So start at tinker.com slash NASA uh, and then we'll uh, have some additional fun uh, during the CS Ed week uh, uh, with NASA as well. But these will be open all year long anyway. So uh, next, you're going to want to go to tinker.com slash schools if you're interested in the further curriculum with Tinker. So again, a thousand hours of curriculum, tons of great stuff there, uh, open-ended projects, templates. There's just so much to, to be uh, discovered at tinker.com slash schools. And then if you want to see and get trained, you can totally do this for free. Uh, we're doing free PD almost all the time, every week, every day, uh, where you can get certified, level one, level two, get, and, and up your game. Uh, and you can start at tinker.com slash training, watch a video, or join a live webinar. Totally up to you, but a, a great place to get started, especially if you're going to have a few, you know, a couple weeks uh, off in the winter or spring break. you got some time to catch up and just uh, watch some great free PD, right? Uh, and if you want to share this with other educators, you just want to share the experience and let them know about uh, Tinker, uh, then please just go ahead and throw up in your phone, uh, grab that QR code, share out the love, let other people know what the excitement and fun you're having, uh, and uh, uh, bring your community and your personal learning network into uh, Tinker with you. Uh, well, that does it for me. Thank you so much, and uh, have fun, and uh, happy making with your students.